I know that, I don't know. Um, let's have a little interview. Okay. First of all, I'd like to ask uh, your feeling about the film. You're one of producers. You are, mm -hmm. I think you, um, you are deeply acknowledged about the story. How very. do you feel about the story? I think that the story is very uh, timely with what's going on in uh, society right now. And I think a lot of people will be able to relate to it and understand the perspective of, of what our lead character does. Not that it makes it right, the lead mm -hmm. characters, but I think they'll be able to relate to the story. Mm -hmm. And in and in some way, have empathy for them as well, the lead characters. I mean, two wrongs don't make a right, but you feel sorry at the end. Uh, well, empathy is, uh, is a strong feeling, and mm -hmm. the, the film itself is pretty difficult. It has that autumn colors, it's a little cold. It feels like you need some you want to you want you want to seek some protection and warmth yeah. but from your perspective what is the message the main message and how people can solve these issues well you know um, racism and hatred and judgment it never wins the the answer you know uh, contempt prior to investigation is is what caused this whole thing to happen in the film and I think if we as a society have uh, an open mind and are not so judgmental of other cultures then we wouldn't have these kind of incidences that are tragic you know young african-american men being shot and killed by the police force is it's, it's atrocious mm -hmm. and what happens when the system fails you what do you do and that's a question that anyone could relate to if someone harmed you no matter what nationality you are so the film poses a lot of questions and I hope uh, that it leaves the audience very thought-provoked towards the end and we've screened it and you can hear a pin drop when the film is over. Uh, what was your input as a, as, a, as a creator? I was one of the producers on the project, so from script development, all the way from the development to pre-production, all the way to when we were on set to post-production. I'm still working on the film, so <laughs> it's How a lot. How did you feel working on the set? I mean, you, you had to, to, to be in that story, in that, you know, in that it, it, it was hard because I felt it. I was on set. And Jennifer, the, um, she plays Tay Diggs' wife in the film, and the scene where she she breaks down, it, it, you know, you can't help. Everyone is on the set, and you're just like, your heart is heavy. Yes, it's so heavy. It's such a tragic story, and um, I still get teared up thinking about it. When I read the script, I just bawled. I just cried and cried, and I was like, I have to be a part of this. You know, I have to be on board and tell the story. What was the most difficult moment for you on the set? <laughs> Um, I, th I think um, the scene where it was after the funeral and we had a gospel um, group from Kentucky that was singing and it was so heavy like the song they sang everyone on set was just crying we were all like behind the cameras and our tears were just falling so yeah <laughs> well I don't want to make you cry right now you have <laughs> yeah, a I feel like that. I'm gonna cry <laughs> that's emotional uh, could you please share with us with our viewers your three tips of success okay uh, my name is Jacqueline Fleming I'm an actress and a producer and I think the success is just um, it's really being happy for other people's success and paying it forward in life, um, giving and mentoring and things like that, which has been given to me and I give away. You, you got to give it away to keep it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your interview. Good Thank luck you. on the premiere. And Thank you. in order to stop you crying, can we hug you? Yes. <laughs>